Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gene Curl, and uh, this channel focuses on religion, journaling, fountain pens, and of course my life. And uh, of course you've turned into this video because of the journaling. And as you can see from the picture in the thumbnail with all those journals I have, I've been journaling for years. And um, I've learned a lot of things over the years from journaling. And I've had a lot of people ask me how I've been able to maintain the habit of journaling. Journaling is the best habit that I've been able to maintain long term. And I'm going to talk to you about how I've been able to maintain journaling as a habit. The first thing that, that you're going to need to do is you're going to actually need to make it a habit, which means that you're going to need to put some time into it and you're going to need to tr uh, Bad habits are easy to develop, but good habits take some effort. And journaling is a good habit, so it's going to take a little bit of effort, but it's what the best way to do it to get into it is to set a time aside to write every day. And it should be the same time what I do. I usually write twice a day. I usually write just before or just after I get up in the morning and just before I go to bed. But you should pick a time, either right in the morning or in the evening, one of the two, and just write that time every day. The next thing that you're going to need to do to make journaling a habit and something you're going to stick with is don't impose a length limit. And so if, you, if you're only going to write a sentence, go ahead and write a sentence. At least you wrote that day. If you're going to write five pages, write five pages. But don't make a limit and say, hey, I have to write a page every day. Because if you feel like you have to write a page every day, even if you don't have a page worth of stuff to say, then you're going you're gonna to feel like you're just forcing yourself to do it and you're going to get burnt out. The next thing that I would suggest is to get a journal you like. And I don't just mean get a journal that you like the cover, which this is one I got at a fountain pen convention. But... Don't just get one that has got a cover you like. That's important, but make sure that it's got paper that you actually like. Paper that's enjoyable to write on. And then, if you enjoy the journal, you're more likely to write in it. Also, use a pen you like. I use fountain pens. This is one of my favorite fountain pens right here. But you don't have to use fountain pens. Uh, I... I'm into the fountain pen hobby pretty heavily and I've got lots of fountain pens and I'm always looking for a reason to acquire a new one but you don't have to use a fountain pen just use a pen that you like uh, you're not gonna have very much fun journaling if you have a pen you don't like or you have a pen that skips so if you're not going to do a fountain pen I would suggest buying a buying some good pens something that's enjoyable to write with and that will make your journaling something you like more. Also, I don't know if this bothers everybody, but for me, I like the writing to be the same all the way through my journal. So if I'm going to buy, a, if I'm going to use a pen for a journal, I buy a, a whole package of pens so that the ink is the same all the way through. Because I don't like it if I run out of ink in one pen and then the next pen has slightly different ink and then it looks different and that bothers me. So, um, use a pen you like and get one that's, you know, uh, get one that's going to either last for the journal or get a set of pens. You know, good pens aren't really that much. You can get some really good pens like uh, for around three to five dollars a piece. And for the enjoyment, for the for the difference it makes in your writing, you will appreciate it. The next thing I would suggest is that if you don't know what to write, use journaling prompts. It's easy to find journaling prompts online. Just Google journaling prompts and you'll find them. Or you can have like journaling prompts for mental health or journaling prompts for men or journaling prompts for women or so forth and so on. But journaling prompts are pretty easy. And also you could use a guided journal if you really wanted to. Uh, I've done guided journals before and I don't like them as much. I like to write more free-flowing, but that's personal preference. The next thing that I would suggest is that you don't pressure yourself to write anything specific. 
maybe today nothing really happened so you just write down today I went here and did this but I would also suggest that you write down your thoughts and your feelings as well because years later when you're looking back at your journals you're not going to just want to look back and see what you actually did you're going to want to remember how you felt about the events that happened in your life uh, I, I wasn't always good about journaling when I first started journaling I just wrote down what happened I didn't write my thoughts or anything and I really wish that when I had first started journaling that I had written my thoughts and feelings down as well as the events that happened but with that, don't pressure yourself to write anything specific. Just write what comes to you. Write what's natural. And don't pressure yourself. If you don't write a whole lot, if you write one sentence, that's fine. Just keep writing. And uh, you'll have days when you write one sentence, and you'll have days when you write five, ten pages. So just write what comes to you. Don't pressure yourself to write anything specific or any length. And then, finally, I would say the thing that's really important for your journaling habit it no, won't necessarily help you stick with journaling more but it will make it so that your journaling habit is more enjoyable overall which really should make it so that you stick with journaling and that is to be honest and accurate in your journals don't write down what you think you're going to want to read later write down what's accurate uh, be honest with yourself because one of the things about journaling is that it helps us to be introspective and it helps us to parse out our thoughts and to it helps us to untangle the gnarled mess of a web that is our mind and it helps us to figure things out and if you're not honest with yourself when you're journaling that that's not going to happen so so those are the tips that I've got yeah, to make journaling a habit is that you write the same time every day you don't impose a length limit use a journal you like use a pen you like if you don't know what to write use journaling prompts don't pressure yourself to write anything specific and be accurate and honest I plan on having more journaling videos in the near future so if you like that kind of content go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss future videos if you have any questions or or if there's anything that anything that I missed that you think would be important for helping people to stick with the journaling habit, comment down below. Uh, if you would like me to read something from my journal to kind of give an example of what uh, goes into a journal, comment that as well. Uh, I'm always looking for ideas of future content, so if that's something you would like to see, let me know and I will make a video on it. Thanks for watching and journal happy and I will catch you in the next video.